Hey, Wargamers, welcome back to the channel, Death From Above Wargaming. I'm Aaron. I'm Tom. And we are back with mission two of our campaign, Free Kuzu. I'm not really sure what the name of the campaign is, but all I know is I got my butt whooped last week by Kevin. Tom's coming in for sloppy seconds. Yeah. So, uh, the, the Red Devils, Draconis Combine, totally obliterated the Lyran Commonwealth in the Rocky Highlands the snowy uh, upper ground of the planet. Now, you are descending on the valley, and we're playing an escort mission. Yeah, I heard something about a bunch of critical roles. Uh, I don't wanna, I don't wanna talk about it. I still have PTSD. Um, Kevin's so, not here. Kevin's yeah, not here. It's Kevin, the Kevin's not here. It's the same. <laughs> so basically, what we've got going on is in an escort mission, um, actually, in all of our missions in this new campaign system, you can pick an escalation level. There are three, low, medium, high. And that determines the battle value. So we're not always playing at the same battle value. So this mission is going to be about 7,800 battle value each. Right. right? And because it's a, a high escalation escort mission, it means my vehicles are a little bit tougher, and there's a little bit more of them. So it's going to be a little harder to take them all out. Uh, now, I would also like to point out that, remember, we're playing with persistent damage. So last week, Centurion, we hardly knew ye, uh, just KO'd the Merlin. I think his new name is Salvage. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's what I know him by now. You see the, the, what I have to put up with, folks. Yeah, yeah. Um, so he, that mech's knocked out. The Merlin, under construction. Uh, <laughs> two weapons knocked out, internal damage. So he's going to be out for an entire track. Yeah, I was going to say, we're, we're using... Time repair. That's right. Too right. Now, yeah, so. exactly. And the Jenner, because he took an engine hit, also going to be out for this track. So those mechs were unavailable to me to pick. So I have sort of a, a very standard Steiner type lance. It's like mostly assaults and a locust. So yeah, I've yeah. got mm. one sacrificial goat for the T Rex. <laughs> the locust. Yeah. He's back. Roadrunner. He's in. He wants vengeance for for last week. Uh, secondly, I have uh, one of my veterans in a Cyclops, a modified Cyclops, um, and uh, I've got a Banshee, 3S. Have I ever played a Banshee? Before? Well, you have not. I don't I think you played a Cyclops. I think, actually, the Cyclops is new, the Banshee's new, and dun-dun-dun, King Crab. Look out, folks. So I've got lots of assaults. Now, all of these are modified. The King Crab, in a particularly unique way, actually dropped the AC-20s for AC-10s. Oh, yeah, we were talking about that. Yeah, that's crazy, that's right? This guy. Upgrade the large laser to a PPC. Why? Well, he's slow, it's not a city, and he's never getting in range. <laughs> so I, uh, I put AC-10s on there. He, so he's going to really take a hit on um, damage, but he's got more heat capacity. And I ran it through the Battleetics engine. It's nasty. So we're going to see. Yeah. We're going to see how he does on the table It's funny, right? Uh, I remember when I play-tested a King Crab, I thought the same thing that the the range just didn't make sense with how slow yeah, the mech was. Yeah, and the large laser sucks. <laughs> yeah, and the LRM fifteen is good, but you know it just it just doesn't have enough heat sinks. Yeah. You know the AC twenty is but up seven heat a pop. It's a very tough mech to manage. So yeah, Mr. Krabs is going to be uh, he's going to be nasty. Spicy. He's going to be a little uh, maybe the Queen Crab is what I call this variant. Is, is it the Krabby Patty? You love is that, the Krabby. Is that, I think that's the name of his lance formation, the Krabby <laughs> Patty. So what did you bring, Tom? Tell yeah. us all about I got the K egg. egg. The I picked the K egg. I love how you name yeah, all of your formations. It's the K E G G. All right. It's the only way I can remember what, what the mechs are. <laughs> all so right. What I do we got? A, I got a Kentaro. Okay. I have an Exterminator. Gotcha. And then I have a Gladiator and a Griffin. All with fantastic paint jobs courtesy of Kevin. By the way, love the Steiner paint job on your guys. Oh, thank Little you. Ashy yeah. blue. Very yeah, cool. yeah. Very Donegal cool. Seventh Donegal Guards. Yeah, it's the first time I've seen them. In They're here to win tonight. Um, uh, well, now all of your matches are fast, fast though, right? Five eight. Yeah, I was gonna say that they're all consistently the same speed, yeah. and they all have almost the same same range profile. So they're all carrying some kind of LRM for some long range, and then like a mix of um, medium range, like uh, medium lasers, things like that. So I don't, yeah, I'm a, you know, lots of armor because yeah, Kevin, we all know look, Kevin loves to so mod his mechs with about armor, as much armor. Yes, yeah. that's kind of like I knew going in. I'm, I'm playing Kevin's side, so I'm using his roster of mechs. I was right. like, they're all going to be super heat efficient. Right. So that's like a, classic, a trademark. Classic, classic Kevin. Classic Kevin, yeah. And he'll never take a mech that builds up heat. We so love you, Kevin. Does, yeah. <laughs> Miss you. <laughs> See you soon. 
All right, so we talked well, about. Well, I don't kill any of his masks. Uh, well, you, uh, I, you won't, but I will. Yeah. We'll see what happens. Maybe I can get some through armor criticals, uh, and the dice will be rolling in my favor. We'll see. Uh, but we talked about the mechs. We talked about the mission. Yeah. I guess we're ready to get started. Ready to get started. Good game. All right, Good man. Luck. Let's do it. All right, we'll see you guys on the battle grid. Here we are on the lowlands of Kuzu, the Verdant Valley, now being invaded by the Yakuza, the Red Devils. Here they are, deployed on this ridge line here. Uh, two of them we couldn't get the balance on the hill, so their actual position being represented by those red bases. And then across, we've got House Steiner representing the Locust out there on the flank, the three big assaults driving up the middle of the field there. Now, we have two objective markers, one here, one there. The escorts will be coming in at that point. That's 15 inches from the edge and they'll be coming across the board. They need to exit here. So, turn one movement coming up next. Turn one after movement. So, uh, per the mission rules, the first thing that happens in the movement phase is this convoy here has to move. Um, so I have a, a goblin uh, medium tank representing my VIP and a bunch of little APCs representing my standard uh, escort vehicles. So they have a, uh, a target mod of two. Um, the big guy only has a target mod of one because I'm kind of keeping him in the back. He didn't move um, his full distance. So they kind of moved on. And then the seventh Donegal uh, making the advance. So led by um, a scrapper here and his cyclops, they're pushing up right up the gut here, hoping to get the convoy behind them to make it a little bit difficult for these uh, these House Karuta folks. 
Meanwhile, the Locust uh, out here on the flank, we'll see what he does, um, but we have a little bit of forest cover. So, uh, and just a reminder, these are level three forests. So right now, um, if that Locust has to see over, he's gotta make sure he can see around it. Now, Tom, what about your guys? Anything, anything fancy? Nope, they just advanced forward. Just so you can kind of see they all just moved up. Coming down from the highlands, off yeah. the mountain there. Yep. All right, well, we'll, uh, we'll roll up initiative and we'll get into turn two. All right, guys, we are back. Turn two already, there is action. This is exciting. So the convoy continued to move. I had to deal with a little bit of rough terrain here uh, as well as level changes. So some of my vehicles didn't get as far as I wanted. I have to keep them close to this line going across this nav, uh, from nav to nav, rather, across my, uh, my side of the table. Um, now, I did lose initiative, um, so I had to move first uh, on, on my mech force as well. And basically what my lance did was this. Um, I walked Bubbles up here. Bubbles, by the way, is the name of Yeah, the, I saw your names. She, she's going to lay down some PPC fire on the Kintaro. Uh, Locust is Roadrunner, tearing across the middle here. He has no line of sight, or rather no range to anybody. Um, I've got uh, my uh, Cyclops here moving up, running. We'll be firing two LRM-5s at the Kintaro, and then my King Crab, a.k.a. Pry Bar, uh, he will be firing. You mean Mr. Krabs? It's Pry Bar for now. Until you, until you headshot it. Oh, yeah, and I get and to salvage, salvage it. Then yeah. you can hire a rookie pilot. <laughs> yes. yes. Called SpongeBob. Hey, Mr. Krabs. Um, ah. So Pry Bar is going to be firing an LRM-15 and a PPC at the Kintaro. And I need all high numbers here, so I'm not expecting a whole lot, but yeah. who knows, maybe I'll get lucky. <sighs> you won't, I hope. <laughs> what do you got on your side? So Yeah, so to start with the Griffin yep. in the center field, he's we're, we're focused firing on your VIP car oh, for this no. turn, and then taking some uh, opportunity attacks against your Locust. Uh, so I have an LRM-5 against the VIP, and a large laser against the Locust. Okay. Um, the Exterminator. He's uh, doing his LRM-10 at the Locust as well. Wow, so he's okay. Range. Yeah. Uh, get, you get that medium mod. Yeah, Pretty yeah. Pretty good. And then the Kentaro and Gladiator, um, which I've now named the Road Warriors, Hawk and Animal. <laughs> so <laughs> good. Kevin, FYI. Yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm renaming your pilots. <laughs> um, <laughs> from Sumo and Sakura, which, whatever. Um, so, the Kintaro is doing an LRM-5, and the Gladiator has an LRM-5, and then the Gladiator's PPC is additionally going in to the VIP. Okay. Didn't see that coming, did well, you? Well, uh, two things. One, I'm terrified, uh, and second, viewers, if you get the reference to the new call signs, please make sure you post it. And also, while you're comments. watching, I hope you're doing their dance. Oh, man. You're giving too many hints. All right, guys, so shooting turn two coming up now. The seventh Donegal Guard starting out. Everybody firing at that Kentaro. So we're going to kick it off with Bubbles. She needs tens. Firing two PPCs and an LRM5. This mod, uh, this particular variant, swaps the SRM6 for an LRM5. So here we go. I will be chain firing again. Need tens across the board. That's a miss. That's a miss. And then that's a miss. All right. So. Uh, Bubbles let me down here. Next up, we've got Scrapper. Scrapper also firing at that Kentaro. I need nines to hit, two LRM5s. Here we go. Nothing. Close. Getting closer, but nothing doing. All right, and then lastly here, moving across to Pry Bar in the King Crab. Again, at that Kentaro. So. Prybar needs a 10 on his LRM-15 and an 11 on the PPC. So we're going to start with the LRM-15 here. Uh, all right. Nothing. All right, so PPCs and missiles are flying, but nothing doing. Thomas? Yeah. You ready? You're up next. Starting with the Gladiator. Actually, I just start yep. from one end to the other. Sounds good. Um, so he's got two weapons, an LRM-5 and a PPC. Uh, they're both nines to hit the VIP. Not too bad, but I need to roll nice and good. A seven, nope. Nothing happening there. Okay. We are at extreme range. Yeah. Um, the Kentaro is next. 
He also needs a nine. And he's firing at the VIP car. Yep. Nothing. Sixes. And then um, the Griffin is split firing, so he's got two. The Griffin's got a nine to hit the VIP car with his LRM five. All right. Oh, so Ooh. close. Woo! And then, <laughs> and then the large laser into the Locust needs a 12. This is super hard, but let's see if I get a 12. That locust oh, is a motor. No. So close. Oh, man. I wish I would have rolled that the last turn. But, okay. And then, um, last but not least, the Exterminator. He needs a 9. He's going for the <clears throat> Locust as well with his LRM 10. Okay. Yeah, he's got some seriously good piloting. What, what am I doing with this guy here? I don't know, but that's okay. So the LRM-10 hits. Yeah, that was supposed to be there. Okay, so roll for clusters. Oh boy. Two clusters. The Locust is going to die. All right, War Gamers, we're back. Turn three, after movement. Lots of maneuvering happening. Uh, and the Red Devils lost initiative, so Tom... Um, actually, before you get into that, let's just talk about the convoy. So, they actually boxed up here, um, but they all got a two mod this time. We're out of the rubble, we're making our way towards Nav Beta at top speed now. Um, so, that said, Red Devils, what did they do? Yeah, so just kind of kept moving up the board a bit. Um, the, exter the Exterminator kind of made his way over here. Down. I, see, I see what you're doing. Nice, it's a nice diamond formation you got going uh, on there. No, this is a parallelogram. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's obvious the orientation. I'm sorry, I'm, you're right. No I'm diamond. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, and then the, the uh, gladiator uh, moved up to sort of flank to the right, keep eyes on the, uh, the VIP cars, and uh, the Kentaro cut across behind the Griffin, who's taking the point at the moment. Um, Oddly, he's a lower armored mech. Not sure why I'm putting him in point, but it's, it's what happened. Well, these things do happen. He has a rock to, to cover his giblets. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so that's sort of where they all ended up at. And then for firing, some of them are going to shoot at the Locust, uh, mainly being the Exterminator. Okay. And then um, your Cyclops is going to yep. take some hits. Okay. And, uh, and then what, the, the um, Gladiator shooting at the, at the VIP car? Yeah, yeah, I kept it going. All right, I did. So the gladiator is going to take some pot shots at the VIP car, trying to get those points. Love it. Probably a stupid idea. No, uh, I don't that. know. I think I think it's probably a good one. Um, we'll see. I, you know that that, that the mod's still high because you got the plus one again, so it's still a nine to hit him. So we'll see. I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, it's tough. Yeah, it's tough with these three and four pilots. Yeah, the yeah. cyclops would actually maybe be an easier shot. It would be with that one mod. It's that's why all those juicy assaults are standing still, just to draw your fire. So, uh, bubble standing still, pry bar standing still, scrapper moving up at walk speed to get that big bore AC twenty in range. Uh, the locust tearing up on the, the locust is always tearing. I mean, when you get a four mod, this guy's screaming. Uh, so he's coming up on the the uh, left side of that exterminator. So the locust is going to be alpha striking. Um, two smalls, two mediums, into the exterminator. We've got, from bubbles, we're firing uh, a LRM-5, two AC, I'm sorry, two PPCs and an AC-10 at the Griffin. From the Cyclops, Scrapper will be firing full alpha strike, two LRM-5s, two medium lasers, and an AC-20. Uh, and then Pry Bar over here will be blasting at that Griffin as well with uh, two AC-10s, and a PPC, so withholding on the LRM-15, because uh, we don't want to get too toasty yet. So, we'll see. Uh, my mods are mostly in the 7s, 8s, and 9s. We'll see if I can get some good rolls here. Uh, not easy shots by any stretch, but if I can get lucky, could be devastating for that Griffin. So, turn 3 shooting, coming up next. I'm going to be firing at the VIP car to start with a PPC and an LRM-5. I need 9s to hit. Hope for some decent rolling. Oh! Ayo! It looks like I'm hitting with both. Okay, so I'll roll over. This is only an LRM5. Okay. All right, so, so just a minimum two point damage cluster there, but still 12 points. Actually, I don't need to roll for location. Oh. Unfortunately, because it is just a VIP car. However, 
Oh, is there no location? Yeah, just straight up construction factor, simple vehicle. Um, but that's going to be oh, 12 wait, but I thought that was a tank. damage. It, it is, but uh, for the mission rules, uh, oh. these just count. That's yeah, what I thought. Just to yeah. simplify, because otherwise, you know, you'd yeah. have to actually build them out and everything, and, and tracking the armor is such a hassle. So construction factor is how we're doing it. Okay. And so that's going to be a straight 12 points of damage, and I think it only has 54, so that's a pretty serious yeah. chunk. So it was worth out it. Of that VIP so we car. had that sort of conversation about going for the mission objectives versus trying to take out some of the armor, and it worked out this time. I think I think you I think you made the right call there. All right, so moving okay. on. Yeah. Well, oh, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna save the uh, Griffin for later. I'll, I'll do the Kentaro next. The Kentaro. Just admiring your parallelogram formation right now. Thank you. So the Kentaro is gonna fire SRM sixes and an LRM five. Um, at the uh, Cyclops. So he needs sixes and eights. So six on the LRM and eights extreme range on the uh, SRMs. All right. So here we go. Got two of them. So let's see. Whoa. Everything hits. Whoa. Six, uh, five and six. Yeah. So, so you have to. SRM six, I need three apiece, right? Uh, six. Six, six okay. apiece. Yeah. So I'll do them one at a time. Yeah, one, one. Missile per cluster. Is that almost a full five. house there? So five there. You might be going to the dice bank. Nope. Right. And three. All so right, eight. So eight. So you need two more from yeah. over here. I'm going to grab you two more and then I'll roll. So that hits. Oh, wow. All right. So that's a lot of a lot of heat coming in on that Cyclops. Nothing. Right. So okay, it looks so like a nice healthy cluster. spread here. Yeah. Unfortunately, nothing too good. Okay, saving the griffin for last uh, the, means the exterminator, my leader, glorious leader. He is up next, and he's going for that locust on his side, and uh, he's got four medium lasers, Ouch. which needs a seven because of that four mod. So still a pretty high number for being basically point-blank range. Oh, my lord. Gets everything. So four mediums into this juicy, juicy locust. That... Okay. It's a lot into the left leg for that tiny little locust. We'll see how this pans out. Okay, so the griffin has an alpha strike coming into that cyclops. Uh, a little preventative medicine. So he's got the LRM-5, a large laser, and two mediums. So he needs uh, sevens on the big weapons and eights on the little guys. All right. So. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh so sevens. It's gonna miss, and the eight's gonna miss, gonna miss, but it hits one. Yeah, it hits oh, one wait. medium. Oh, it hits the large, because that also needs Oh, okay, seven. perfect. So I miss the LRM, and I miss a medium. When I say perfect, I mean that sucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, so it looks like CT and left arm. Kicking it off for the Donegal Guard, Roadrunner, and the Locust. So I need eights on the medium laser, tens on the small laser. I will be chain firing these, so here we go. Need eights here. No. Yep, got one medium. And then the small lasers, I need tens. No. And no. So, one medium laser into the uh, right side arc of that exterminator. Left side arc, I'm sorry. So that is a six, which I believe is left leg. Left leg. Gross. All right, bubbles up. Group firing. Needs eights and nines, so a little risky. Look at all these meaty dice, two PPCs, AC-10, LRM. Whoa, you're not chain firing? Whoa. Worked out though? It worked out, so everything hits, Tom. There you go. That is gonna be 35 points of damage coming in on that Griffin. Look, rolling for location. All right, so uh, we've got some nice concentration here. We've got 20 points going into the right torso, and we've got 15 going into the CT. All right, pry bar up, firing PPCs, uh, actually PPC and two AC-10s, uh, needs eights across the board to hit here. So, I think I'm gonna group fire. Here we go. Ah, gross. All right, so nothing hits there, so dodge is a bullet. I'm gonna group fire here as well. Um, I need 
sevens on the LRM5s, and eights on the medium laser and the AC20. Need that AC20 to hit. Look at this. Man, that hurts. So only one LRM5 hits. Five points of damage, and that is coming into the CT. Turn three damage report on House Karuda. The Red Devils, Wraith and his exterminator locked in a duel with the Locust, taking just a little bit of damage to that left leg. The Griffin, on the other hand, facing down three Lyran Commonwealth assault mechs and paying the price. A critical hit on the right torso, knocks out two jump jets, and the CT all but cored out. On the Donegal guard side, things are going a little bit better. Uh, Scrapper in his Cyclops, getting banged up by that Kintaro and the Griffin, but just yellow across the board, three points of heat. The Locust, however, getting just drilled by the Exterminator. Uh, left leg is ripped off in a fall, that mech is prone, and the VIP car taking some damage. All right, we're back turn four after movement. This game is intense, much more so, I feel like, than the last game, which... It's a lot of maneuvering. This is just everyone's just slugging it out. So, no, um, whoa, whoa, come on! I'm I'm being tactical about this. No, it's I'm true. outgunned, outarmored. Your parallelogram formation clearly is in small. disarray. It's in disarray. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. these guys uh, continued their move. So I lost initiative, which really hurt at this point because I that Griffin's really hurt, and I was trying to figure out a way to extract him, but. YOLO! It's right. <laughs> Kevin's neck! <Smith. laughs> Sorry, Kevin. Um, so, the first thing I did um, uh, was moved the Kentaro across the board. Okay. Um, put him in a better position. I didn't want him to get left behind. Um, so, you can see he went up and over. Took, uh, so, he's at a 3 2. And then the Annihilator um, moved to getting Exterminator. Kicking. I'm sorry, yeah. The Exterminator. Uh, I should think of like Exterminatus, I'll remember. But um, he he did the moonwalk to get in kicking distance of that Locust. Uh, more Locust. Decided, yeah. So he's going to get kicked. And then um, the Griffin kind of did a shimmy to the side. A um, little robot walk so he could get eyes on the VIP. Yeah. So um, my shooting, to go through that, we'll start with the, um, the Exterminator. Uh, he's going to long range the LRM-10 at the VIP, okay, oh, and yeah. then split, and then secondary target the locust on the ground with all four of his medium lasers again, and then a potential physical attack. Yeah, we'll see. Because honestly, I only hit his leg, so the rest of his armor is good, which means I might not destroy him. So I really want to. I don't want to. So get when we say the rest of his armor is good, we're talking about a locust with a strip center torso. Just right. to be clear, I'm just saying. But five points of damage, do, you know, it doesn't go very far all the time. Well, all right. I'm just saying. We'll see. You we'll think see. you're being optimistic, but yeah. I'm, I'm not feeling good for I, the Roadrunner right yeah. now. He may be uh, meeting uh, the Centurion. Uh, I got, I got the TNT thing. I'm going to call him. He's going to be Coyote. <laughs> Why, or Wiley. <laughs> Wiley Coyote against yeah. the Roadrunner. Classic matchup. He might get a new nickname. Uh, I'm renaming all of his mechs this turn. And then, yeah, the Kentaro is firing. Um, he's doing the, the, uh, the missile dump again against the Cyclops. Oh, okay. Yeah, it hurt last time. Force yeah. the piloting check. Yeah, and then the Griffin, uh, he is going with his LRM-5 uh, at the... So this was a whole conversation we had off camera. Uh, I'm going to split fire and target the VIP car with my LRM-5. That's your primary target? As my primary. Okay. Long range. And then secondary, I'm going to fire my large laser, my two mediums, at the Cyclops as well. Mm, okay. Um, so we'll see if that pays off. You know, you take a plus one, but the VIP is the target. It's the fluff. It's yeah. The, the point of this game. Yeah. And then lastly, the uh, Gladiator with his PPC and LRM combo will again fire at the VIP. Focus fire. So a lot of a lot of firing at the VIP this turn. Mm. We'll see. Okay. But still a lot of high mods. You know. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm feeling the pressure. You know, early in the game, I thought I was going to get these guys across the table quicker. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm only about halfway across, uh, not even halfway across. So I've still got a ways to go and these combine mechs are closing in fast. Um, so I need to, I need to break, I need to have a breakthrough here. So we're going to try to shatter that Griffin this turn. The Locust just pivoted a little bit. I'm going to, he's going to do a, a one arm, you know, sort of lift up prone fire, uh, shooting a lot, um, sorry, medium laser at the Kentaro. Um, bubble sat still, scrapper sat still. 
um, pry bar moving across the center here, uh, kind of Spain, shadowing that, yeah. that, yeah, you know, just, just ready. All three yeah, of them. It forced me to move my again, griffin. Again, firing at the griffin. Um, so this time we have uh, a little less fire coming in from, um, from Scrapper. Oh, actually, no, I'm sorry. He is alpha striking. I'm, I'm taking the heat. It's going to happen. Um, well, maybe I'm not. I'm going to fire one less LRM. So we're going to do that. Pry bar, basically we're doing the same thing, except for we're swapping the PPC for um, an LRM. So we're going to do an LRM-15 and two ACs. Uh, Bubbles doing the exact same thing. Uh, twin PPCs, AC-10, and LRM-5. So all of that going into the Griffin. I'm really hoping uh, that I can do some damage. And I will tell you, Scrapper has a just a meager 5 to hit with that AC-20. So I'm hoping... I'm hoping because he's a he's a veteran, so he's got a two uh, two on his gunnery, and that Griffin did not move very far. And as we know, Scrapper stood still. So shooting's coming up. Okay, first up will be the exterminator. Um, I'll start with my long range. I'm firing that LRM against the VIP. Need an eight. Let's see how this goes. So close, but so far. Lucky there, and then I just need threes on all of the, uh, oh, the lasers into the locust. Well, it doesn't matter. However, did you take oh, the, right. I, get a plus. I think you automatically hit because you're adjacent to a prone target. Yeah. So regardless, that's 20 damage coming into the locust. So let's, let's you, co you covered one eye to make it a little harder, but yeah. let's see look what you the, got see, here. Look at that, look at that spread. Well, CT though, CT right torso, left torso, right arm. Well, quick correction, so. Tom was saying he's in the left side arc of that. Yeah, because you had pivoted. That's right, when I, when I fell. Yeah. That is right. You are correct, sir. So we will <laughs> we'll figure attention. out the damage. Pay attention. <laughs> All right. Next up is the Kentaro. He's firing into the Cyclops. Needs uh, sixes and sevens. So uh, sixes on the LRM5 and sevens on the SRM. Sixes. Come on, sixes and sevens. Not going to happen on this turn. Okay, next up is the on life support Griffin. Uh, we'll see if he can uh, do any damage this turn. So the first shot I'll take is uh, the long range against the VIP, which needs an eight on the LRM. All right. Um, feel good about this one? Eights. So close. God, that's brutal. So close. Okay, so that's uh, a no go. And then the rest of it is into the Cyclops. I need sevens on the large and eights on the mediums. All right. This is a big barrage here. Wow, I'm whiffing left and right. Oh. Okay, so Griffin is feeling the heat. Okay, and last up, uh, the Gladiator continuing his assault on the VIP card. Needs nines across the board. <laughs> Go for a little <laughs> luck on this one. Wow, so close, but so far. Oh, no. Yeah, not, not gonna happen. Okay, so nothing this turn, wow. The brutalized locust firing over at the Kentaro, kicking it off for the guards. I need an 11. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's not happening. All right, so Bubble, she is gunning down across, has clear line of sight to that Griffin as it emerges from behind the boulder. Needs sixes on the uh, two PPCs in the LRM, and seven on the AC-10. So here we go, roll out here. Hmm, all right, so I see, looks like that AC, oh, dragging a tree with me here, looks like that AC misses, but the LRM and the two PPCs hit, so rolling for clusters. All right, so that's gonna be 25 points of damage to open this up. We need some CT, and what was the other one? Right torso? That's right. what we're gunning for. Screaming on comms. Core it out! Well, we got one PPC in the CT, and it looks like uh, left torso and left arm. The 7th Donegal Guards, assault mechs, twisting, aiming, concentrating their fire on that Griffin, just blowing it to smithereens, hitting the ammo bin. Sweet vengeance. Turn 4 physical attacks. Yeah, so my uh, exterminator is going to kick, curb stomp that that's more Dumb accurate. locust. Hey, hey, this is a safe space. That's a kind, <laughs> gentle pilot. So uh, I auto hit because I'm a, I'm a three piloting skill and Only it's a minus four. <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right, so two d six for location. Yeah. Um, what do you got? So six. All right, so that's going to hit the right leg, which of course there is none. Transfers into the right torso, Tom. I think that's going to do the locust thing. So let's see what happens. Turn four damage report onto the Yakuza. So Wraith and his exterminator still holding firm at four points of heat. Gladiator and Kintaro untouched, but the Griffin just facing down those assaults. Bad idea. Gets drilled in the CT, finds the fusion engine, also finds that LRM5 ammo. That mech is toasted. Onto the Donegal guard side, similar fate for that locust. Uh, that exterminator just has him pinned to the ground, blows off the other leg, and then just kicks him clean up the cornhole. And that mech is just crushed like a tin can, so nothing left there. Otherwise, scrapper up the three points of heat, but that lance of assault's sitting pretty. All right, turn five, movement recap. Zooming in a little bit here on the action. So uh, each mech has, or each force has one mech down. Um, Locust. Utterly obliterated, Griffin torn to shreds, so stakes are high. Cored out with an ammo explosion. Glorious. No Poet. better way Poetry. to go. Poetry. Yeah. Uh, so, convoy moved first, per the rules. Continuing here, just chugging across the board. I, I feel like they barely moved from where they were, but uh, such is life uh, as a tracked vehicle. Uh, once again, I eked you out on initiative by, by one... Point. Yeah, so just a, a very, uh, very close die rolls tonight on initiative, but I, I won again, so that forced you to make the first move. What, what's the yeah. combine up to here? Yeah, so the, uh, the leader, the exterminator, went straight up against the tree line. He is going to fire at the cyclops okay. uh, on, in the, the shooting turn. Gotcha. Then the Kentaro continued his move across the board. Um, we, we had talked off camera. It's kind of in a weird position with him. I really need to keep their mods up because they will get trashed by the amount of firepower that uh, Aaron brought to the table. So it forced me to move him. I was kind of going to keep him still. Actually, we'll move them off. The yeah. Board. <laughs> the um, evidence. Yeah, <laughs> the evidence of a bad decision. Uh, um, I think you made the right one. Yeah, I think moving him is good. And I, really what I was concerned with was getting line of sight to the VIP vehicle so I could do a split fire again and do a, a primary uh, LRM on the VIP and then a secondary against the Cyclops. And then finally the um, the Gladiator continued flanking across the, to the side. He's been doing good. Again, priming the VIP with his long range. And then he's secondary with his medium against the Cyclops just for some opportunity. Yes. Yeah. All right. Well, I think that's some, some good decisioning there. Um, the King Crab moving across uh, in, in lockstep there with the convoy. Uh, Bubbles and her Banshee still planted here. Basically hasn't moved the whole game. I think maybe moved once, um, but just firing uh, at will. And then the Cyclops also uh, sticking in the middle there, trying to draw some fire off that convoy. So as far as shooting goes... Uh, Scrapper and Bubbles are both going to be firing at the Gladiator. Um, Prybar is going to be firing at this Kintaro here. So my mods are, you know, in the 6 to 9 range, so some are easier than other, but we'll see what happens now. So shooting for turn 5 coming up now. Okay, up first is my Gladiator. Uh, he's going to fire at the VIP to start. So he's got his uh, PPC LRM uh, Five uh, needs eights and nines. So, oh, jeez, should have kept that. Should have kept it. Nothing again. Wow, it's poor rolling. Um, and then needs sevens on the secondary target of the Cyclops with the medium laser. Nothing. Okay, next up is the Kintaro. He's taking a pot shot at the VIP with an LRM. Uh, five. Uh, it needs a 9, and then with a secondary attack with SRM, 6s into the Cyclops, needs 10s. So, not super good mods. I can roll over here. Alright, perfect. So, up first. Uh -oh. Not gonna hit anyway. It's an impossibility. I'll just roll for the hell of it. There's a 5. Okay, and then... Yep. SRMs, that's a hit. There's one. What did you need? 9s? Uh, tens. Tens, yeah. gotcha. So one, two, three, four, five, six. 
Hit All right. Not bad. Case of five hit. Oh boy. Some good um, clustering. And okay, last up, um, my exterminator as far as LRM 10 into the Cyclops needs a five. So an actually good number. Reasonable. Gets it. Well so. done. So, well, only one plus guys. What? Well, that turn is not. Oh, they're gonna say it's a little right, six. Right torso. Right torso takes five. Pry bar up for the seventh honorable guard firing, getting revenge for his fallen locust buddy. Uh, he needs eights and nines, so eights on the LRM fifteen and the PPC nines on the uh, the AC ten. Here we go. Nothing. Kintara's moving too fast, Tom. Yeah, paid off for the first. All right. That was what, 30 points of damage? Uh, yeah, could have been, yeah, could have been 35 if all the clusters okay. hit. So we're gonna move right on to uh, to my favorite gal, Bubbles, here. So uh, she's got an LRM5, she has two PPCs, and an AC10. Uh, firing this time, though, at our buddy the gladiator. Mm. He's just sitting Unscathed, out there. Unscathed, sure. sitting in the open. I need sevens and eights on group firing. So seven on the LRM, eights on everything else. I'm taking a little bit of a risk with the group fire, but I feel feel good about it. Here we go. Hmm. All right, so it looks like the LRM and the AC hit. Both the PPCs swing wide. So rolling for cluster confirmation, just a two point cluster. So this is only 12 points of damage, not what we wanted. Tom breathing a sigh of relief. Yeah, Five really. to the right leg, ten to that center torso. All right, here we are. Scrapper, torso twisting, firing, AC20, two mediums, LRM5. I need sixes across the board because I am in minimum range of that LRM. So it all worked out as sixes. Here we go. Tom's hoping for a one on the pilot die. So everything hits. The question is... That undamaged gladiator. Can we concentrate fire? LRM. Oh yeah, thank you, sir. I was I was getting so excited. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so cluster confirmation on the LRM. Tom keeping me honest. Here we go. Rolling for location. Ooh, well, could have been uh, bad. Could have been could have been better. Could have been worse. So we've got 15 to the uh, left torso and 20 to the right torso. Turn 5 damage report. Things are getting toasty. The Red Devils closing in on that convoy. Uh, the Gladiator now the focus of those assaults. Getting drilled in the side torsos, taking damage across the CT. But that mech, that pilot, made the piloting check, still on his feet. Uh, otherwise, the Lance is doing okay. On to the Donegal guard side, the Cyclops, Scrapper, just getting sprayed with SRMs. Some of them do find that cockpit, so that pilot is forced to make a consciousness check. Still okay. Up to three points of heat there, and pry bar up to two points as well. And the Banshee with no heat and no damage. All right, guys, we are back. It is turn six after movement. Uh, the vice is closing. However, the seventh Donegal guards... Who's the vice closing on? Whoa! <laughs> My head just exploded. Uh, the seventh Donegal guards won initiative again. Uh, so the first thing to happen is we had a little bit of a traffic jam, um, which I'm hoping isn't going to cause any of my vehicles to die. But what happened was I, I didn't have enough movement to get these forward vehicles up the hill. Um, and so these back ones kind of had to slow down a, a little bit. I couldn't get them a full five inches. Uh, so I have ones on these back two mods here, two, uh, a two mod on these front vehicles there. But uh, Tom, what do you have going on on the uh, Red Devil side? Yeah, so I, I moved um, the Exterminator and the Kintaro up, um, gave the Exterminator a little cover behind those rocks, and just trying to get good line of sight on the VIP cars, uh, or tank, I guess I should say. And then I'm going to fire, I'm going to really focus fire on the VIP this turn. So the Kintaro is firing everything at the VIP. Um, the Exterminator is uh, split firing. Uh, he's going to fire his long range at the VIP, his LRM5, and then the medium lasers he's going to fire at 
uh, the Cyclops, I believe. Yeah. And then, um, last but not least, my Gladiator continues his flanking assault. Yeah. Which is, he's in a good spot. Right up the old tailpipe of the VIP car. <laughs> yeah, and so he, he's still, he's keeping, yeah, he's keeping his LRM and his PPC on the VIP. All right. And then adding in his uh, medium laser to the Cyclops for okay. this turn. Gotcha. So, pretty high mods, uh, even, you know, we talked. Still high mods, but. Yeah, it's tough. Lots of running going on. Yeah. Um, yeah, so on um, on the Donegal side, um, what we've got going on here was um, Scrapper just moving backwards here, um, picking up that one mod. Uh, Prybar turning, going uphill. Well, actually, he didn't have to turn. He was already kind of facing that direction. Bubbles, on the other hand, did turn um, and is advancing now to try to ward off these two closing uh, mechs here, the Kintaro and the Exterminator. So the King Crab, the Banshee, they're going to be unloading their big guns into the Kintaro. So um, the King Crab is firing both AC-10s and the LRM-15. Uh, again, trying to keep that heat under control here. I don't want these guys to start suffering movement mods or I'll be in trouble. Um, Bubbles firing the, the same spread here. Uh, so she's going to take on two heat this turn, but a uh, single LRM-5, pair of PPCs, and an auto cannon 10. So staying cool, courtesy of 25 delicious heat sinks. Yeah, those are very heat efficient. Yeah, not not uh, not stock, obviously. Did, did a little bit of tweaking. Dropped one of the, just like four medium lasers as well. So I dropped one of those and added a heat sink and, and some other things as well. But uh, regardless, I digress. Lastly, pry bar will be firing uh, AC-20, two medium lasers. Uh, hoping if I can score another torso shot, I might get uh, to some internal damage, much, uh, much to Kevin's chagrin. So... We'll see what happens. So shooting coming up next. Okay, Kintaro's gonna shoot first at the VIP. So everything's gonna the VIP. Um, and I need sevens and nines. So sevens on the LRMs and nines on the mediums. So I'm gonna chain fire for Aaron. Uh, so sevens on this. Get it. Confirm. Doesn't minimum damage. So two, just two points to it. Two right. points to it. All right. So oh, I guess it doesn't have any location. Right. So. Exactly. Yeah. So just two points there. Okay. And then I'll do the uh, medium lasers to start. These need nines. All right. Oh. There you go. There's a nine. Um, I'll just wait to and then then the SRM sixes. These also need nines. Close, but no cigar. Wow. Okay. All right, so so far you've done seven points of damage. Now, uh, depending on how many clusters we confirm, okay. not bad. So that is another 10 points. That's 17 oh, yeah. points of damage uh, in totality to that VIP car. Okay. Up next is the Exterminator. Uh, he needs sevens and eights. So he needs sevens on his LRM and eights on his medium lasers to hit the VIP car. All right, so let's see. Group firing, everything. I'm going for it. Alpha strike. It's gonna happen. <laughs> oh boy. Seven. Oh yeah, that's everything. That is gonna hurt. That's 20 points yeah. of damage. And that's an LRM 10. Boom. Both clusters hit. I think this vehicle may be out of commission. We'll Boom. see what the Gladiator can do next. Gladiator's up next, and he's got his, again, traditional LRM 5 PPC shot into the VIP car. Needs sevens. All right. So sevens on this. He gets it. All right. Look at him. <laughs> what a champ. All right, so two points of damage there. Can you nail it on the PPC? You have a little, a little bit more than a 50% yes. chance. Sevens there. on this as well. Nice. Right, so another 6-1 combo. So that's a brutal 10 points of damage. This car... Well, I'm going to have to check how much uh, construction factor is left on this vehicle. I think that is right? taken. Yeah, oh, right. 12 total. And then so the secondary target is a Cyclops with a medium. All right. Um, and I need an 8 on that. Gotcha. Oh, double ones. Nothing. So, that's the end of my, my shooting. All right, dog. Comms explode. Tragedy. Yeah, he caught us down. So, the 7th Donegal Guard, they need to retaliate here. Uh, we're going to start with 
uh, our buddy in the King Crab pry bar. He's going to be firing at that Kintaro. Now, let's just check our notes here. We need nines. So we'll be chain firing. We're going to start with an LRM 15. That is a hit. Oh, look at that. We're going to do one AC 10. So, two AC-10s and an LRM-15. We're going to check for clusters here. Wow. Uh, that is 25 points of damage coming in hot to the Kintaro. Undamaged. So he is undamaged. So, um, it's not looking too great. A little uh, left torso, right torso, and some left arm. All right, so we're up with the Banshee. Also needs nines. Firing uh, one AC-10, two PPCs, and an LRM-5. We're going to chain fire here as well. Here we go. So the LRM5 does not hit. PPC number one. PPC number two. Ugh. AC10. Ooh. Bubble's not so good on the move. Uh, last Gotta stand up. still. Gotta, Gotta stand still. She's got to stand still. Um, so here we are. Scrapper. Living up to his name. Can I scrap this gladiator? Got an AC20. So much ammo. Here, two tons of ammo on board, so not ready to run dry yet. Only needs fives to hit. We are at basically point blank range here, so group firing. AC 20, two medium lasers. Here we go. 30 points of damage coming in to the Gladiator. Just give me a good torso shot, please. CT. Turn six damage report on the Red Devil's side. The Exterminator up to five points of heat, looking at a movement penalty. The Gladiator locked in a circle of death with the Cyclops, gets knocked to the ground, critical damage to the CT and the right torso. And the Kintaro dodging fire from that King Crab and the Banshee, uh, taking a little bit of damage, but making its piloting check okay. On the Donegal Guard side, none of the assault mechs take damage, just some uh, some heat buildup on the Banshee and actually some dissipation on the Cyclops. But the big news, the VIP car is destroyed. All right, guys, we're back. Turn seven. So this game has officially gone longer than the last one, Tom. This is intense. So you destroyed the VIP car. Um, you lost initiative. I'm, I'm, on a, I'm on a hot streak, and it's critical. So the remaining uh, convoy cars here are moving up the hill. They're struggling a little bit, getting through the rubble. So uh, one mod on those guys. Bubble, is, uh, she's continuing to try to keep pace with these guys, but uh, very slow, especially in the, the uphill here. Um, so running, but only claiming a plus one mod. The King Crab taking a little bit of cover behind the rock. Um, he's actually going to be torso twisting, firing across at that gladiator, with his LRM-15 and two AC-10s. Uh, and I should mention Bubbles firing her usual salvo, two PPCs, AC-10, LRM-5 at the Kentaro. Um, Scrapper over here in his Cyclops, uh, sort of moving forward just a little bit there, not even full throttle walk, but just enough to claim the mod. He's gonna be looking at that fleeing Gladiator, not quite in the rear arc, but unloading um, everything. So we're gonna, we're gonna be alpha striking, building up just a few points of heat there. Um, and what about on your side? Yeah, so I'm trying to withdraw. Uh, I, I declared that. I got the VIP, my, my mission is accomplished as far as I'm concerned, and that gladiator's trying to survive. Yeah. So the gladiator just is booking it, turn around and ran, um, because his front, <laughs> he has no front armor left. So yeah. he was basically offering up his rear. But uh, you're still in a side arc, so yeah, we'll see what happens there. He's in some serious trouble. Um, the Kentaro is backing up. He's walking backwards, and he's going to fire at the the lead car. Just try to take some pot shots and, you know, keep the Donegals uh, from pursuing. Yeah. And then the, uh, the Exterminator is doing the same thing, backing up. He's going to also take a pot shot and... Well, I suspect this, this may be the last turn, um, but we'll see, because if you can take out another car, if you take out two cars, this quickly shifts from a minor victory to me to a minor victory to you. Um, so it's, it's, uh, it's sort of high stakes here. We'll see what happens. 
Um, of course, these mechs very valuable in this persistent damage campaign uh, rule set that we're playing with. So, uh, shooting coming up right now. Okay, first up is the Gladiator firing, twisting and firing into the uh, Cyclops. All right, his so, arch nemesis. His, yeah, he's been having a bad fight with him. So he's in sixes and sevens, so he's firing his PPC and a medium laser. All right. Uh, so I will uh, chain fire sixes and sevens. Would you chain fire? I have group fire. Just go for it. Okay. Well, let's see how this works out then. Oh, worked out well. Worked Everything out hits. well. All right, so 15. Now that Cyclops... Isn't in bad shape, but those PPCs always dangerous. So yeah. looks like you split the torsos there, left and right, respectively. Okay, next up is uh, the exterminator. All right. So I need sevens on my mediums to hit him. It's a really, it's an extreme range. Oh, gets both of them. Nice shoot and tag. So a little ten more points on him, and he just needs a five with his LRM ten. Mm. Gets it. Let's hope for both clusters. Oh, just one. All right, so five points to Not that lead vehicle. Okay, last up is my Kentaro. So he's firing his LRM-5, uh, two medium lasers, and one SRM-6 at that lead car. So just trying, trying to salvage this. All right. So he needs a mixture of um, sixes and eights. Got so it. I'll start with the six on the LRM-5. Gets that. Confirm. Confirm. Next up will be the mediums. I'll just chain fire these because right, they're yep. a little high. So an eight. Get it. That's one. Doesn't get that. And then the last up is the SRM. Needs an eight. Gets it. Oh yeah. boy. This lead car could be in a little bit of trouble here. I've been having good luck with these SRMs, so but not this time. Oh wow. no. Spoke too soon. So just All four right. points there. So a total of 5, 10, 14 points to that lead car. All right, the Donegal Guard kicking off with our girl Bubbles, escorting the escort, <laughs> escorting the convoy all the way to Nav Beta. We're almost there. So providing some covering fire against that Kentaro. Uh, we are going to group fire. I need eights to hit. Well, what did we say about shooting while we're moving. Not a, not a good thing for her. So only one PPC hits, and that's gonna hit in that left torso. Cry bar, torso twisting, sighting down that fleeing gladiator that I believe landed the killing blow on the VIP car. So we need sevens to hit here. That is almost everything, one AC misses. So we're going to roll for clusters here on our LRM-15. LRM-15 is doing hot. So this is 25 points of damage to the Gladiator. This will be coming in on the right side arc. So I see two sixes, which I believe is right leg, not what we wanted. Um, so we'll have to see how this pans out. Scrapper. Once again, can he live up to his name? Alpha striking everything into... That gladiator. Gladiator again hanging on by a thread. I need sixes and sevens. So six on uh, all the short range stuff and actually sevens on the LRM, courtesy of our minimum range rule. So here we go. Rolling for clusters. Yikes. So this is in the right side. This is, a, I believe, 11 is a right leg or a left leg, something terrible. But all we need is one CT shot, which I see one CT shot. So ejecting. Turn seven damage report on the Red Devil's side. The Exterminator and Kentaro on the flank, sighting down one of those convoy vehicles. The Kentaro taking some PPC fire from the Banshee, but the real story is the Gladiator destroyed, heroically sacrificing its mech to keep that Cyclops and its nasty AC-20 at bay while the Exterminator and Kentaro escape. On the Donegal Guard side, the Cyclops taking a little bit of damage uh, in Sumo's last stand. That mech's at three points of heat. Uh, the Banshee building up four points of heat. 
But again, the real story here, those two flanking mechs destroyed yet another Lyran convoy vehicle. Here we are, wrapping up this mission in the lowlands, the verdant lowlands of Kuzu. The Donegal Guard snatching a victory from the highly aggressive Red Devils. Coming down from their new staging area in the highlands to knock out a command convoy. And while they did destroy some uh, high command personnel in that lead tank, uh, the majority of them did manage to escape, so this will be a minor victory for the Donegal Guard. guys there you have it 7800 points done good game yeah it was a good game um I, I was i was interested to see how that was going to play out and it sort of played out as i had expected yeah. um I you think know we, yeah when we saw the forces i think we we're like mm. Mm, right <laughs> yeah. right i was sort of in a weird spot because and i think it was a blessing in disguise i mentioned this earlier uh my merlin in in repair my Centurion out of commission, um, and Lyrans, typically as Lyrans do, it's mostly assault mechs in the force. I mean, it's a lot of big mechs. So all I could do was three assaults and the Locust. I tried working, I have a Vulcan in the list, I tried working that in, but I just couldn't get it to fit. So, um, but it worked out, and this force was, I think you mentioned it, just designed to defend. Yeah, yeah. Both of our forces actually, on paper, mm -hmm. for the most part, looked perfect for the role that they were playing. Yeah. Um, for this type of mission, the escort mission, it's really beneficial to have strong mechs. They don't need to be super mobile because your escort's moving across the board from one end to the other. So you can basically kind of walk in and control the center with some sh heavy mechs that have. Right. I mean, I didn't want to get anywhere near them. Yeah. Like, all of my mechs, most of their weapons were in the 12 inch range. And that's just terrifying to me. Like, I didn't even want to try to pepper you with medium lasers. Yeah. Because too much armor and, I mean, those PPCs. I mean, how many, would you have five PPCs? Something like that and, like, oh, three I mean, different AC weapons. Yeah, I, I had, well, let me think. I had three AC-10s. Yeah. Uh, three PPCs. Yeah. An AC-20, right? Yeah. I mean, they're big, they're big guns. I mean, taking yeah. chunks of, I didn't even use my medium lasers, to your point. Yeah. Um, uh, well, I did on the Cyclops, yeah. but... I mean, the, the Banshee's got three of them, um, yeah. didn't even bring them into play. So it's so. great, yeah, so you, you know, you move down on the center of the board, and I kind of had to work around the sides, which gave me big mods to hit the, the convoy, because I was at, like, extreme range most of the time. Right. And that was the other part of it that didn't quite work out. My mechs, um, while they had, you know, five weapons apiece, something like that, they were really pushed towards the 12-inch range, which, again, for this, just doesn't work, because I needed to stay as far away as possible and also move as much as possible. Yeah. Um, that's the only way I survived so far was keeping my mods up and just trying to keep the fire split, which, you know, it's, yeah. it's impossible. Like if you want to engage them, you're going to be taking fire. There's no way to, to prevent that. Yeah. And you know, the list is tough, right? Kevin, Kevin brought a very, um, very focused list of this sort of 50 to 70 ton. Like most yeah. of his mechs are in that, I don't think he's, I don't think the biggest mech he has is an archer. Um, oh, wow. That's what only... 70, yeah. you know, 70 tons. And, and that's the only mech with fire support. And I kind of wonder how this would have played out differently if I had to come across the board to you. Like, if you had more fire support mechs to, you know, drill missiles and things like that, maybe it would have been a little different. Um, yeah, I still don't think you would have had... You wouldn't have had to break formation. Still, you could have just... Right, know, those AC-10s have a lot of range. You. Yeah. Well, that and also, for me to be effective, that the VIP car had... What did we say? Fifty four. It's fifty four, right? So, yeah, I think fifty four. In, in the heavy, in the heavy escalation, yeah, right? Remember, yeah, we're playing. So yeah, it, it sort of all worked out in my favor, I think. Um, and you made this comment, like a lot of your, a lot of your weapons were not high caliber weapons, right? They're, yeah. they're, you know, they're sort of nickel and dime weapons, and they require you to get in close to really, 
Like, I mean, the one, that locust got shredded. Yeah, Just that was really nice. Done. Four, four mediums. I mean, <laughs> poor guy. Yeah. And, of course, here we go, you know, that 4-5 that pilot, right? I muffed the, uh, the piloting check, <laughs> and he <laughs> fell yeah. over. The poor yeah. guy, and that was it. And when he fell over, the, exactly. the actual fall took his leg off. That's right, yeah. He, and then <laughs> you just pummeled he got, him. He caught his toe on something. <laughs> ah, ah, yeah. yeah. Right. Ah! Or it's like the, the family, I think, where it's like... Oh. Family, yes, family guy. Oh, I'm gonna growl his knee. <laughs> but on the plus side, I renamed all of Kevin's pilots. I feel really good about that. We got the uh, the, the the road warriors, hawk and animal now. If, you, if everybody remembers them, uh, we got what else? We got Wiley Coyote. You oh, know his yeah. new captain. Yeah. Captain Wiley Coyote took out that road runner like nobody's business. Finally won the match. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but Finally. that poor Griffin. Yeah, he got, well, that was sweet revenge. Uh, I mean, true. I actually had to work for it this time. I mean, unlike Kevin, who got the throw armor critical and blew the ammo bin. Yeah, I'm I just kidding, Kevin. I, I mean, I, yeah, I mean, to, to, you know, Kevin's going to watch this since he's not here, maybe, and cry. But you know, I don't think I was too risky. I really tried to stay out. And that at the end of the game, yeah. Griffin just tried to turn and run and almost, like, gave him my rear arc. Oh, the gladiator. Yeah. The gladiator. Right, yeah, right, yeah. right. The gladiator, yeah, I tried to get, I the just, yeah, and I get out of there. I mean, the fall, cripple, I mean, was was devastating. I mean, you were able to get up and change your facing as a free, like, part of standing up, but even still, yeah. I think falling over, you know, took an extra six points of damage. It, it's just tough. Stuff adds up. Yeah. Yeah, um, it was just mostly that, like, at that point when I was trying to withdraw, there's no right. easy way to withdraw. Yeah. Like, there's just not. Um, so you're going to take damage somewhere, and you still turn around and shot at him. Which I was hoping you wouldn't do, but you did. Yeah. So, it is what it is. Yeah. It turned out. But that was a really fun mission, and I liked, you know, I tried, you know, metagaming this. I tried to play to the mission type instead of just engaging in a brawl. Right. Like, I was like, oh, I gotta get that VIP car. Like, and that makes it so much more fun. Yeah. Because, again, just a straight up mech battle you can do you know, against yourself if you want. But, yeah. With, uh, with some tasty VIPs, a little Yakitori. Uh, <laughs> good. Anyway, uh, the other thing that worked out for me. Yeah. Give me your love. The king crab variant with the AC10, oh. the queen crab, as I like to call it now, Ooh. patent trademark. The snow crab. Love having the range. If I had a tr trudge and chase you down with AC20s, y you would have no spent good. the whole game doing nothing. Nothing, yeah. but the tandem with the banshee. That's sixty points of damage coming out of those two mechs. Have you done a mech review on this variant? No. You should. No, be I interesting. Should. I did, like I said, I did run it through the engine. You should do a comparison because we play test. I mean, I think I talked about it at the beginning. We play tested the King Crab and I was right. very underwhelmed. Yeah. Because it, you just spend the whole time trying to get in range. It gets so hot. Yeah. And, and like, yeah, you get in range eventually, but at that point, half the game's over. Right. So yeah. I would like to see the effective damage the yeah. CV on this. Well, the other thing I is, you know, good. this is a digression, but. Digress. You know, you Just can you can put the ammo in the arm, so you can fit the AC-10 with all the actuators and the ammo all in the arm. Yeah, let's talk about Kevin putting all the ammo in the center torso. <laughs> I get it. Kevin does it. Risky. Yeah. yeah. So I, you know, he managed I managed to roll two sixes, which pretty rare. Pretty rare. One in thirty-six chance. Yeah, but, but I think two or three of the mechs had the ammo in that yeah. same position, and um, it's, bound it's to different. Happen. Like you can't. Yeah. Like if it's in the arm, it's one thing. Well, it's also longer to transfer in, right? It's got to go through the arm, then eat the left torso, then eat the, you know. Yeah. And you can also just get the arm blown off. Right, without, you know, without even risking it. Yeah, so, so some thoughts so there, there was that, um, you know, and, and when the AC-10, you know, AC-10, you're getting more per shot, so you have to carry less tons of ammo, right? So, what do you mean? So an AC-10, one ton of ammo gives you 10 rounds. AC-20, you only get five rounds with a ton of ammo. Oh, yeah. So There you go. So I'm carrying only two tons of ammo, one for each AC-10. It's all in the arms, um, yeah. you know, and the AC-20s themselves actually have critical slots that bleed into the torso, so you can actually knock the weapon out. Um, in, yeah, yeah, so yeah. to me, I, huh. I mean, you're, you are sacrificing a lot of damage, but the versatility of the mech, the ability to engage early and often, yeah, I think it's important. Unless you're in a city fight. The punch is still huge. It's still huge, still huge for yeah. almost any yeah. mech, except yeah. for another assault mech. That's, right. that's a really good mech to shoot, to punch down, yeah. I think. Mediums, the, the, these 60, 70 ton max. The Queen Crab. Yeah, the Queen Crab is good, I, I think. Against other assaults, though, I bet it would be. I bet little, the King Crab would probably be a little better. Um, but, you know, who knows? Because they're all slow. Who knows? Yeah. Right, because they're slow, right, lower mods. So, speaking of mods, that was like one Could final you? point yeah. on, on the game. 
So the mods, I think, were in my favor because I was able to stand. Yeah. I mean, Bubbles sat still like 90% of the game. Yeah, she just true. sat there and was raining death down because she had good position. I'd sort of pre-planned the deployment knowing that, you know, I had the, you know, the king crab here to kind of cover the initial hit. And then by the time they got to her, I mean, she could just sit there and then turn and move. And that worked out really well for me. Yeah. Um, you know, because I was looking at sevens and sixes and, and eights where, you know, a lot of times you were, you know, you were like eights, nines, eights, nines tens, yeah. you know, things but like that. But that was also so. me trying to hit that convoy. Right. right. Partially. Partially. But yeah, yeah. yeah so. and speaking of my deployment, uh, turned out happy with it. Yeah. I think I was able to engage on tank, turn, tank two, tank two, tank two, yeah. two uh, turn two <laughs> with the VIP car, mm -hmm. which was my goal. I said, when I saw those saw mix, I said, I got to get in and start pressuring that the the convoy yeah. as soon as possible because i might lose a mech and then i'll lose a lot of tactical maneuvering ability yeah. but so i did so i punched up on that side and you know kept hitting them from the back but also moved them in that way so yeah, that, you had yeah. me in a pretty good pincer and i wonder if that griffin would have survived a little bit longer you know um yeah. that could have made a difference as well but yeah i took yours you took mine yeah. and then that poor gladiator i really i like the paint job on the gladiator by the way good job kev uh, so I'll be salvaging it shortly, but regardless, as you said, great game. Uh, had a lot of fun. I hope you guys drag that locust out with me. <laughs> <laughs> He's and like, you're like your damage jump jet. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh my god, poor locust. I have like Nobody a little dolly cart. <laughs> like push him out. <laughs> it's still twenty tons. Pretend to be a UPS guy. And we can look up the rules for. Do you have any hand actuators on this? I think the exterminator does. Oh yeah. I'm sure. We'll check the rule book. He's, he's probably walking away like this right now. <laughs> I'm gonna have, now I gotta figure out how to like, yeah, exactly. Anyway. Wow. This is not a family friendly channel. Uh, they know it is. It, um, Ignore uh, me. Anyway, well guys, listen, thank you so much uh, for tuning in. We hope you liked mission two. Uh, mission three will be coming up maybe in a week or two. Yeah, what track are, are we on on this? Well, so we started on the contact track uh, Kevin won, so we were on the breakthrough track, uh, and now I won, so we are on the counterattack track. So I'll have to go to the book and figure out what mission I want to play. So we'll see. My mechs are in good shape, minus the locust, so I don't even think I'll need any downtime. I don't think I have any internal damage, so uh, that's going to play into this as well. Yeah, I might, I might go, might go big again on the tonnage, so we'll see. Um, but guys, again, thank you. Stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe and. Uh, a lot more coming, as you know, from Death From Above War Gaming. Take care. See you guys.